Joseph paid $27 for an item at the store that was 70% off the original price. What was the original price? So this is a typical discount kind of problem, except normally what happens is we have an object, we have the price of that object, and then we have the discount percentage, and then we're asked to find what the sale price is. But in this case, we're told what the sale price is, we just don't know what the original price is. So how do we go about contemplating this problem? Well, I'm a picture person, so let me set up a little diagram here. We have an item that's on sale, right? So let's draw our item, and it has a price tag on it. So I'll just label that original price. Now, it goes on sale for 70% off its original price. So when it goes on sale for 70% off its original price, that means we're going to discount it or subtract 70% of that original price, whatever that was. That result is going to wind up and be our sale price, or $27. So in my head, this is the picture that I'm thinking. I've got an original price, and then I'm going to subtract 70% of that original price, and that's going to give me $27. But let me fill in some of the boxes here with some unknowns. We can let X be our original price or our sale price of the item. Then we're taking 70% of that original price. And when we take a percent of something, we're multiplying. So 70% of means point. 7, 0 times, and the original price was x, so that's 0 0.70x, and that equals 27, or $27. But I'll go one step farther. We now have a simple algebraic equation, and how do we combine the two x's together that are on the left side of this equation? Well, we put in front of this x an imaginary 1 to start, right? This is 1x minus 0.70x. And if we subtract 1 minus 0.7, that actually just gives us 0.30x, right? Or another way to think about that problem is that the $27, our sale price, is just 30% of the original price. Do you see that right there? 0 0.30 times x represents 30% of the original price, and that's our sale price, $27. To get our sale price, we simply have to do one more algebraic step, and that is we have to divide both sides of this equation. We're going to divide the left side by 0 0.30, and we're going to divide the right side by 0 0.30. On the left side, that leaves us with x, which is our original price. And on the right side, we have 27 divided by 0 0.30. Whip out your calculator, and you're going to get that x is 90. Or in other words, the original item or the original price of that item before the sale is just $90. If we take 70% of $90, subtract it from 90, we should get $27, the sale price. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.